Uh, the Buddha was traveling in a city and a blind man came to him. The blind man was a philosophical thinker who understood reasoning and logic. <clears throat> he said to the Buddha, how can you prove to me that you can see and I can't? How can you claim that light exists without proving it to me? Everyone in that village had tried to convince him that light existed, but to no avail. He claimed that it was so that they could feel better about themselves and think themselves more highly than him. The Buddha instead just looked at him thoughtfully and then called his personal physician given to him by a king. The physician analyzed him and said that the man's blindness was a treatable case, so he left the physician with the man. Six months later, he returned to the village. The man was now humbled and overwhelmed with the new sensations he was seeing. The Buddha knew that arguing with a man was pointless. The Buddha never saw himself as a religious figure, but a scientist or a doctor of understanding and unhappiness. That's why scientists don't tend to debate creationists. It's not because they are arrogant, though some are. It is because creationists have not experienced the level of understanding that science brings. If you don't know a field of science, it seems foreign and oversimplified to you until you delve into it and understand the mechanisms. For non-scientists, think of something you're good at and used to not be good at. Some skill or knowledge that you used to have. Prior to learning how to do that skill, you were quite literally mentally blind about it and you knew it existed vaguely and probably had an oversimplified idea of what it was. This is completely the same thing that creationists have. They are trying to explain something they cannot understand, something they are mentally blind to, and they try to pretend to be experts on it. They are quite literally the blind leading the blind in terms of science. To become learned, one must learn from an expert, a doctor of understanding. Unfortunately, many people don't like being told that there is something deficient in them. Instead of seeing it as a scientific fact, they view it as a personal insult and become defensive about it. They take offense to learning or anything that can enhance their understanding of life because they don't like to think that they should need improvement. They don't realize that successful and intelligent people are constantly improving themselves. Self-maintenance and improvement is required or you will come into a situation way over your head that will be detrimental to your future. There is the problem on the learned person's side as well though which the unlearned sees stereotypically. That is someone who studies or learned or excels and becomes an expert in something not so that they can be better or smarter but so they can be better and smarter than you. Their entire purpose of learning is so they can lord it over someone. However, these people are usually driven to learn just enough to feel superior and do not continue to learn and maintain what they know. They do not maintain a flexible mind and will keep the same opinions and knowledge even when new evidence is presented because that requires more learning and that would mean the person is deficient in something. This means they will resist the majority of new knowledge. Scientists have recently discovered a part of the temporal lobe that is responsible for feeling spiritual experiences. Your faith has been driven mostly by your own personal feelings and experiences. However, by brain scans, these experiences are no different from meditation or certain drug-induced feelings. Perhaps this means you didn't have the experiences or that people like myself are mentally handicapped in this area which is hardly fair of God because we weren't given the same spiritual experiences as he gave you and without the experience we have no reason to believe what you say because it's untestable and unverifiable if creationists want to debate evolutionists then they need to do some serious research at a university level in various fields of study and see the evidence in detail before they will be no longer blind in these subjects or perhaps they should pray to heal our temporal lobes so that we will no longer be mentally handicapped and blind to their God. I have a feeling neither will occur, but it's all up to you, Christians. Oh, uh, as an additional note, I, I got a new job. It's, a, it's in a lab job, finally. And I will be working on moving, so uh, I might be busy for the next month. This one happened to be pre-packaged, so I went ahead and worked on it tonight. 
Uh, thanks for viewing, and uh, if I don't see you sooner, I'll see you probably in about a month.